Nice. A little bit always comes out. Oh, key up. <laughs> Whoa! back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're having an awesome day. We're here again with Cody Krillman, the cow vet, and we're going out on some calls. I'll let Cody tell you what we're gonna be doing. Today we are going out and we're gonna potentially look at this lame cow and maybe even amputate her claw. Uh, she might have septic arthritis, so we'd have to amputate. And then the next call is a bull that maybe has something stuck in his throat, uh, says the owner. So we're going to put a mouth gag in him and take a good oral exam. I think that's the first time Ashley's ever seen a horse mouth gag go in a, in a bull. It's only the second time I've ever seen it happen. <laughs> so, uh, and we're heading out west up into the mountains, so we should get some pretty cool shots too. Nice. Thanks. I'm a strong, independent woman. 
<laughs> oh, she's so determined. Just skin. <laughs> There's an infected foot. Did you see all that pus coming out of there? Yeah. So that whole joint was what was infected. That's all healthy tissue. That's scar tissue. And her bone looks nice and hard. Good job on the shots, buddy. Thank you. Did you learn something today? Uh, yeah. I learned that you could take a hoof off and, <laughs> and she'll walk away. It'll be fine. Okay, let's see what you, let's see what she does. She's putting weight on it. Is that better than she was? Yeah. Okay, so just keep her in for a little bit. She just uh, yeah. has a little bit of blood when we took the tourniquet off. Not unusual. Um, I'm gonna leave you with a pressure bandage. If you do notice that, like, let's say she stood there for, stood in one spot for a minute after two hours, and there's a pile of blood that big, then give us a call. Okay. It'll leave you with a pressure bandage. Basically, you wouldn't need to even lift the foot up. We'll just be bring her in again and then just tight with the over top of all this bandage material. I need to put the thing in park. Now it's like scaring you, it won't land. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Airport check. Traffic check. Okay, now that we got that hoof taken care of on that cow, uh, we're here at a different ranch and we're checking on a bull that I don't think we're exactly sure what the problem is, but. No, we... he's just kind of going downhill. He's getting a little thin. So we're gonna do a physical exam, take a look in his mouth and just see if we can't figure out what's going on. So what, what was that answer? Here's the bull semen test work. <laughs> But other than that, like so things like rough intestine, uh, enlarged bladder, kidney infection. Smells like normal room and smells to me. And it went down really easy. Right. So there's. So that was just to check the pass that it was a clear passage through the esophagus to pull that out. Now we're gonna put the. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, I would try to do some soap. Something. Some beet pulp? Well, or is that there's not enough. Yeah, yeah, it's more So what's the diagnosis? Stomatitis. So stoma just means mouth. So he's got inflammation of his mouth. So both of both of his cheeks have these huge ulcers, and he's really sore eating. So we give him anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, and he should turn around just fine. I'm so excited we caught that on camera because the last time that I did that, I had the bull already, and I had like prepped it up in the vlog. I brought back the the mouse speculum and I was ready to do it and then the bull went down in the chute and we spent an hour getting him out and by the time we got him up we were so frustrated we just turned him loose <laughs> so we never got to film it the last time feel this uh just north of the corrals okay um but we can lead you in when, when you get to the yard okay I will be at the yard in one minute And she may be calving, so we're gonna try to get her uploaded. We're gonna figure out this calving here. Uh, we can't get her up, so we're gonna do everything. Get his mid just don't. Cervix is closed, and there's no twist. Oops, is she up? With a hole throw. With a trocar in. And upload it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Somebody better rope her now. <laughs> yeah. uh, they thought she was calving, but it turned out she was just bloated. She had laid down and couldn't get back up, and so we helped her get back up. And then he saw her walk away. <laughs> I'm really gonna do this. This is funny. Let's just rope her. So that about wraps up our day. Thanks for coming along. It's been awesome hanging out with you, Cody. And, yeah, it's been um, wonderful. Just getting to see your profession and, and the way you go about your job. It, it's really cool. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes um, <laughs> that uh, the people don't see. And so um, it's been cool to see all that and to get to know your family and everything. And yeah, it's been awesome. Good. Well, thanks so, for coming to visit. Yeah, um, we really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you've had an awesome day. And Taylor and I are getting ready to go on to the next stop on our journey. Squirrel. Hats off to you. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't done so yet, make sure you go over to Cody Krillman's YouTube channel and check out his videos. If you have any interest in cows or um, veterinary services, like, um, you will enjoy his videos and then if you just enjoy um, seeing somebody's life uh, working in the country and working with farmers and ranchers uh, he's a great guy to watch so I encourage you to go check out his content and hats off to you guys hats off to you oh that was such a good one